What's up guys, Muzzlefuzzle here, bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 discussional video. Today we're going to be talking about the killstreaks in Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to talk about the systems, what's been talked about, some quotes from Robert Bowling, all sorts of good stuff. And I've got some Black Ops PS3 gameplay in the background for your viewing enjoyment. I'm using the, uh, the AUG, playing some Ground War Team Deathmatch on Array on the PS3. The connection on the PS3, uh... Oh. It's not that good, but the players are so easy to kill. There's there's not as much camping on the PS3. Lots, lots of lots of people running around. It's a lot easier to get gameplays, I find, on the PS3. But that's just my own personal thing. I don't want to start a comment flame war about which system is better. That always ends up happening. But uh, what I want to talk about today is the Modern Warfare 3 killstreaks. Now, Robert Bowling, the stealth clown himself, has already had a few comments about the killstreak system. And he was quoted saying this. He says, we have changed a lot about how XP, match bonus, challenges, rewards, and other incentives are distributed in objective gameplay. So the killstreak system, what they're aiming for is that you can be rewarded with killstreaks, not even for getting kills. You can get rewarded for playing the objective, you can get rewarded for being a team player, doing challenges, um, and they're going to add incentives to be more of a team player. And I think that is a good thing for people who play Domination, for people who play Search and Destroy or Demolition. You'll always run into people who play it like it's a team deathmatch. They only play it for the kills. They don't care about the objective at all. And that's that's kind of a shitty, shitty side of the game that you just have to deal with. But they're going to try to reward objective-based players a lot more in Modern Warfare 3. And I think that'll be a good idea. Now what I'm thinking that they're going to do, this is all speculation, none of this is uh, confirmed or anything like that, I'm just doing these Modern Warfare 3 discussional videos to get you guys excited and to get talking about the game and get my thoughts out there, um, but what I think they should do is, if they've learned anything from other games, specifically games like um, Medal of Honor or Battlefield, I think a points system uh, could definitely be useful, like a points system in-game that uh, uh, leads to kill streaks, leads to uh, maybe you can get some ammo or, or replenish your equipment. Something kind of like Medal of Honor where even if you're not going strictly for kills, you'll still be rewarded uh, for being a good player. So I think objectives might just lead into kill streaks. You might cap a few flags and that'll that'll count as a kill towards your kill streak. Um, and I'm hoping that the, the kill streak system in this game actually leads into each other. If we look at the past Call of Duty games, starting with Call of Duty 4, um, Call of Duty 4 had kill streaks that were built into the game. There's there's UAV, airstrike, and helicopter. It was really simple. Everybody had the same kill streaks. So it was three, five, seven, and it was the same way for Call of Duty 5, World at War. You had uh, your your recon plane, and then you had your artillery strike, and then you had your dogs. And dogs are amazing. I hope they bring back dogs. I'm going to talk about specific kill streaks that I would like back in the game a little bit later. But the the 357 system worked out really well for the first couple of uh, uh, mainstream Call of Duty games, COD 4 and World at War. Then in Modern Warfare 2, they kind of changed it up a little bit. They allowed people to customize their kill streaks, change out whatever you wanted. There was no specific uh, kill streaks that you had to roll. Although it became very very certainly clear uh, really fast, pretty much in the first couple weeks of the game, which kill streaks were the strong ones to use. Almost everybody agrees that a Harrier was the amazing kill streak in Modern Warfare 2. A Harrier could lead into pretty much anything. Uh, a lot of people would roll Predator Missile, Harrier Strike, Chopper Gunner, or Harrier Chopper Gunner Nuke. That was the main nuke setup. Um, I personally like the AC-130 more than the Chopper Gunner just because it took a lot more skill to use. And I'm hoping that in Modern Warfare 3 they put skill uh, as a basis for kill streaks. I'm hoping there's a lot more skillful kill streaks, like uh, kill streaks that actually take effort and take aim and take uh, a skill basically to use like um, as, as newbie as it is I think Black Ops had a good idea with the RCXD a kill streak that you could drive around and if you drove it into the right spot if you drove it into the enemy spawn you might get a quad or better you could get some multi kills with that thing and I thought that was a lot of fun and I, I was a big fan of, of a kill streak that you could drive around and it could explode um, and I like the new ones that ca they came up with in Black Ops as well, like Valkyrie missiles, uh, mortar strikes are a lot of fun. They just need some balancing, and they need to they need to be able to compete with the other kill streaks. Um, another thing about kill streaks that they might do in Modern Warfare 3 is the idea of kill streaks uh, put into tiers. So you have your tier one kill streaks, your tier two kill streaks, and your tier three. Tier three being the higher end, tier one being the lower end. So your lower end kill streaks would be like your UAV, your counter UAV, all the small stuff. Mid would be kind of stuff that leads into other kill streaks like a Harrier or a Predator, uh, things like that. And then your high end kill streak would be your big bad boys like the AC-130, Chopper Gunner, Pavlo, etc. 
Um, I don't really know if I'm, I'm supportive of the idea of tiered kill streaks, but that could definitely help out with balance and add another element of uh, really, really having to organize and choose your kill streaks for the game. I'm um, not quite sure how they're going to do it, but I do like the idea of customizable kill streaks, and I hope we see a lot of different kill streaks for Modern Warfare 3. I really hope puppies come back. I'm, I'm excited to see what they have as far as AC-130, Chopper Gunner, Dogs, Pave Low, Harrier Strikes, Predator Missiles, maybe some Valkyrie Missiles, maybe some Mortar Strikes, Artillery Strikes. There's all sorts of good stuff that they can put in, and I hope they get creative with it as well. Like I really like the RCXD. Uh, I really like the idea of putting in stuff that's not so realistic, but could be a lot of fun to play with. Um, so hopefully they have something in there that's kind of like the tomahawk, the ballistic knife, the, the crossbow. I really want to see them uh, work some fun stuff in, not necessarily like tactical stuff. But just, just stuff you could use for fun. Uh, but this gameplay is coming to a close. I hope you guys like this commentary. If you have anything you want to talk about in the comment section below, leave them down there. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 killstreaks and just this discussion in general. Uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like these Modern Warfare 3 discussional videos. I really enjoy doing them and putting them together, so I'm going to have a lot more coming up in the future. If you guys want to check out some other Modern Warfare 3 videos that I've done, you can check out the Modern Warfare 3 campaign or Modern Warfare 3 quick scoping videos by clicking those annotations at the top of your screen. And if you guys want to get in on some open lobbies on Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, you can download my toolbar. I do them a couple times a week at muzzafuzza.rtoolbar.com. Download that, and I will see you guys later.